Um, so yeah, just want to go over static pressure, guys, real fast. Um, I know we have a busy day. We definitely will do a lot more in depth, like Dre said, um, but just a brief synopsis. Um, so air handler here, total external static pressure, really is a benchmark number uh, designed from factory. Show of hands, yeah. just, just not to steal your thunder. Total ex uh, total external static pressure. Does anybody have an idea what that is? Brain. Um, it's the total static pressure with uh, regard to the ductwork being like like it's it's the total system. So it's including the air handler and all the ductwork and all the registers uh, available. The total available. Or like it's the it's the total static pressure with everything connected to the system and the system running under. So it's it's like taking everything into consideration. So like the ductwork, any any type of dampers, baffles, any 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 all of that. Right. <coughs> so uh, your pressure right here will say test static. So this right here is rated pretty much industry standard now is 0.5 water column uh, inches per water column. So when they're testing that in factory, they're just testing top of the unit to bottom of the unit. The filters outside of the system. So when we're testing in. First, we want to test with no filter, traditionally with a true flow grid, and then second, we can do a test in and see how restricted the filter is, taking before and after filter readings um, if we think we have an issue. So when we're testing these systems, what realistically what we're doing is, again, we don't know what we don't know, but now we have the information, we can correct a lot of stuff, and we all know we've installed problems or kept, kept the problem there. Like Dre said, just because they have a you know a bad back room doesn't mean a brand new five ton infinity system is going to fix that. You're going to have great dehumidification, but you're still going to have four degree difference. So what we're doing is we're seeing how well can this system breathe, or if you look at your papers, is it's in relation to uh, you know heart rate, so blood pressure. So you know 120 over 80 is the benchmark perfectly healthy system. Everything looks great. The moment we have you know, a five ton installed with a 12 inch return, direct return, you know, we're throwing 350 CFM per ton, we're at 1750 CFM, we're only bringing back 500. You know, are we throwing the same amount of air we're returning back? That's essentially a perfectly balanced system. So when we have systems you know, in different designs, question the design, question, hey, why are we only having one return? and a 2,000 square foot house and it's only an 18 by 18. You know, let's go through that and let's catch this stuff. We don't want to continue putting in systems that aren't functioning the way they're functioning or they're as designed. A four ton should operate as a four ton or at least 99% of it or 98%, not 60. Because that's going to hurt the efficiency, it's going to hurt just the total output and you're going to have a ton of AOR. There's nothing more expensive in the HVAC business than AOR calls. So, when we're testing these, again, with our manometers, take the filter out, test it right at the cabinet. If we've got to pop a little hole and put a grommet, you know, afterwards, we can do that. And then we put it at the top of the supply. They both have, they have a little test port you can see. It has to be in the airstream directly. So, you're going to test in the airstream, in the airstream, make sure they're zeroed out before we test, and just let it run. So if we say that this system right now at a five ton and we have, um, you know, it's rated for a 0.5 and we have minus, because your minus will be here because it's sucking through, so minus 0.31 and then we have a positive because we're throwing air, 0.19, that's going to give us that 0.5. That's in a perfect world where we're at. But then if we say that, hey, we don't have enough air coming through and we can have a really high pressure because either we have a pinch duct, super restrictive, and this could be a 0 0.78. And then this could be, you know, a lot higher too because we could have a, a pinch supply, back pressure air, all of a sudden we have a point, you know, 0.41. We're well over that threshold. So if you look at your paper for 0.5, and this is easily 1.4, we're in that hypertension. So <clears throat> what this is telling us is we got a really big problem on both sides of the system, essentially on the return and the supply side. So now we start to understand the importance of 
not just attic inspection, is it sealed, is it strapped? Look at that flow. Where am I, where's my first takeoff and where does this go? Do we have bad pinches? Do we have, you know, crushed duct work? You know, talk to the homeowner. Oh, I just had a plumber and electrician up there. You know how that conversation is going to go. Hey, you got a lot of issues up here. We will get to the point in our training where we then will do soft skills on how to, you know, handle those conversations. Because we're asking this, you know, homeowner for a five ton infinity. Hey, today's to pay up to eighteen thousand dollars, and you need all new duct work. It's a hard conversation, but. You know, we'll go through how to you know, coach you on that because it is, it's a pretty difficult one when you're in that situation. Um, again, very brief on testing, you know, putting the numbers together. Um, the two duck jobs that are going on right now is really good. So Shane and Chris, you guys are going to get more training on that. You've been on a couple jobs already, so you understand where we're going. And then Cisco this week with Aschenheim will get testing done and everybody will be part of that as well so we get more understanding of you know just understanding the numbers you can't fudge numbers the proof is in the data the data is the numbers you can't mess that up so if you understand the numbers you understand everything and you can take that to the homeowner for measure quick projects all leads have access to projects but all assistants don't is that uh, correct i think everybody is wide <coughs> open everybody's okay. wide open so let's start any job new starting a project so we know we're benchmarked at at least all nine probe deployment. You don't need to do the whole thing of the true flow grid and everything else because that's just, it's, it's right now it's not a realistic thing until we get full through static training. But let's get nine probes in and let's get all that tested in. Um, again, the biggest thing is making sure these are zeroed out. So you can either zero through Measure Quick app or you just hold it down and zero it. Um, that's your biggest thing because if you go in already reading a negative or positive number, you're, all your stuff is going to be fudged. And that's the only way to really skew those numbers. Um, yeah, that's brief right now. Um, I wanted to keep it pretty short today because we do have a pretty, pretty packed day. Um, but even if it's 15 minutes of training, just start compounding this because um, we're going to get to that point that you guys are going to be pretty much static pressure experts. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, HVACRschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex. Bytex.